So I want to show you something weird that I just bought. Um, this is called an aura meter and it was perfected by a researcher named Vern Cameron in 1952. And the idea is that this is a super sensitive dowsing tool. And you've got, you know, a spring here and there's kind of a spring mechanism in the handle, which makes this really bouncy. And even though it has this weight on the end and you might have the impression that it should point down, you're actually supposed to do the opposite. You're supposed to point it up from what I understand. So this is, you know, it, its tendency is to be pointing down. So by pointing it up, I guess you're creating a little extra stress there, which makes it even more sensitive. And so I've been told this is an extremely versatile dowsing instrument that, um, for example, you know, it's called an aura meter because there's a technique where you can supposedly walk up to somebody and it will react in some way right when you hit the edge of that person's energy field. I haven't gotten to really test this out yet, so that's why I don't have any personal experiences to share with you. But um, secondly, uh, if you want to use this for more traditional dowsing, supposedly you can go out, uh, let's say you're going to go outside and you're looking for a stream of underground water or a vein of gold or whatever. Um, supposedly this will sort of point you in the direction and I've even uh, seen online some people who say they map dowels with this that if you have a map of the place that you want to uh, explore that if you hold this over the map and you tell it what you're looking for that it will literally bend extremely down like like that you know uh, and really point it out for you on that map. And then there are people who also say you can just hold it like that and use it as more of a, a regular pendulum, moving left, right, back, forth, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. I mean, people who are into these say that they'll do just about everything. You know, they'll practically uh, make you pancakes and um, shell an egg for you. So I don't know. I mean, it is. It's an interesting device, and there's no doubt about the fact that it does seem to be very, very sensitive to the world around it. So I'm going to keep experimenting with this, and uh, I'll let you know what happens. Be sure to uh, like this video, subscribe, and uh, I hope you will go to my website, joshuapwarren.com, for updates. So thanks for watching.